Shall we check in with the weather and see what's going on? Carol, it does feel warm at the moment. I, I came over to the studio this morning without a coat. Was that silly? Is it going to stay no. warm? <laughs> no, it is. You were absolutely right, Victoria. Very wise. It's a mild start to the day, more or less across the board, and it's going to be unseasonably mild, not just today, but as we go through this week. More on that in a second. But you can see too, behind the rain in the Isle of Wight, things are brightening up. But this week there is rain in the forecast, and as we've just been saying, it is going to stay mild. In fact, by Thursday, in the southeast, depending on the amount of sunshine we get, we could hit 22 degrees. But this morning, we still do have some rain to clear. We've got rain moving across England and out of Wales, showers across the southeast, and rain continuing to drift northwards across Scotland. Now, when all of that clears, we're looking at a, a day of bright spells, some sunshine, but a few showers. And some of the showers in the west could well be heavy, and the odd one could have the odd rumble of thunder in there as well. Breezy across England and Wales, less so across Northern Ireland and Scotland, and our temperatures 11 in Lerwick, 14 in Belfast, to about 17 in Norwich and London. As we head through the evening and overnight, it's still going to be breezy and that will blow some of the showers in the west over towards the east. There'll be some clear skies around as well. No issues with mist or fog or indeed frost because it's going to be another mild one. Nine to about 12 or 13 being our overnight lows. So that's how we start tomorrow. A lot of dry weather, some sunny intervals. Out towards the west, we will see the odd shower, but again, they're likely to be hit and miss. But a new area of low pressure is coming our way, and that's going to introduce thicker cloud across southwest England and South Wales, and then some rain. Breezy conditions here as well, quite gusty winds at times, with temperatures 12 to about 18 degrees. Then Tuesday into Wednesday, that area of low pressure with its fronts moves northwards. And as you can see from the isobars, it's going to be another breezy day during the course of Wednesday. Windy for some of us, especially so in the north and the west. And as our fronts move north, they take the rain with them, but will be followed by some heavy showers, especially in the west. And again, some of those could be thundery. Temperatures 12 to about 20 degrees. Then as we head on from Wednesday into Thursday, another area of low pressure comes our way. You can see the warm front moving steadily northwards. Still another breezy day, but the wind is coming up from the south and that is a mild direction for us. So that will have an impact on the temperature. So as our fronts go north, they take the showery outbreaks of rain with them. The wind from the south means the temperatures will be higher. So we're looking at 12 in Larwick to 21, but possibly 22 degrees. That's 72 Fahrenheit in Old Money. The average at this time of the year in Edinburgh and Belfast is 12 degrees. In Cardiff and London, it's 14. So that shows you there's a big hike up in those temperatures, Victoria. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Thanks very much, Carol. 22 degrees, gosh.